everyone, this is Peggy for CropStop.com and today I'd like to show you a new little tool that I got from CropStop called the Hana Ami Flower Loom. Hana Ami stands for Stitch Flower, that's Japanese for Stitch Flower. And with this little cute tool here, you can make all kinds of flowers. You can use ribbon, yarn, fabric, whatever kind of little goodies you can come up with. And I just want to show you a real quick way to make a flower. So let's get started. Okay, your little tool comes just like this in a nice little container. You just take the lid off. Go. I set it aside. It comes with a needle and you have six different ways to do your flowers. You have round ones, you can make some square ones with the blue ones, an octangular looking and a little tiny square blue one. And then this little center piece comes out when you want to make a hole in the center, you'll use that. For our demonstration today, I'm going to use the bigger one because it's just a little bit easier for us to see. And there are little notches inside of here. Let me point with my needle. Right here, 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 and here. And there's big dials on not just to fit in here that we're going to put in there. So let's get that hooked in there. The next thing you want to do is to tie a little knot in the end of your ribbon, and that's going to hold this in place. Now I always do it backwards because that's a lot of ribbon to pull through because there's almost three yards of ribbon for this big one. You just pull it so it's kind of taut, and that little slit holds your knot there. Then everything you're going to do is going to be clockwise. You're going to go up around, we're going to call this number one peg. So you're going to go around number one peg, you're going to come around number two, go clockwise, and then you're just going to start going all the way around. Let me show you how easy that is. So there's one. And then we're going to come over to number two. And there's, see there's our number two, then I'm going to go right, right over to number three. And we're just going to go all the way around. Now we're at the end, so we're going to take our needle and thread the piece of ribbon through there, like so. That's going to become our little sewing thing. And I take it down through the back here, and there's a hole right there. So that's where we're going to start, back there. I'm going to not get that looped on there. Alrighty. Now I've got a good hold of that. Then I hold my thumb kind of in the center so I can remember where the center is. Now one thing that you'll notice on your directions, it will show you different ways where you can make like a little line of your ribbon around here. You can just make a hole in the center. I like to do it because I like to use mine in my scrapbooks as well. I just pick some different uh, loops to put mine through, which I'll show you how I'm doing that. I just pick this one right over here. Right there. And I pull it kind of tight. And then I go diagonally and get that one over there and stick it back down through the center. And I like to keep it flat because I like to add buttons to the center of mine. I've got a few buttons around here. So I'm going to do that all the way around. So watch this. Now the next thing we're going to do is to pop this off of here. I always use the end of my needle to give myself a little grip. Bring out my little knot. Well, I think I'm going to bring out my little knot. It went in there. Well, when all else fails, you cut it off. There we go. And I'm going to pull that back down through the bottom. Because I'm going to use it to tie. There we go. Then you take your two ribbons right here, and I just tie them in a knot. Just like that. And then I give that a little cut. And you just push your little flower off of there. And there is your beautiful flower. And then, let's see, somewhere around here I had a beautiful button to put in the center. And I just used my handy dandy Zots. 
I sure have used these things a lot. I'm glad there's a lot in this little bag. Now you can get this Hanami in lots of ribbon choices at Crop Stop, and you can get those Zots too. Let's see, get that on. You gotta open it up, Peg. There we go. Take that off of there. You find the center. And voila, there is your gorgeous little flower. Now, I made one with a different kind of silk flower, and I just tied a little piece of raffia stuff in the center. This was some funky yarn I bought one time, thought I'd make a scarf, I thought I'd learn to crochet. Not. But it made kind of a funky little flower. Then this is ribbon that I also got at Crop Stop. This fancy little swirly ribbon. This is the raffia that you can use to show you some different ways you can do that. And then I got a little creative, and I tore fabric. And I like the idea. I just think I need to get a fabric that I could, um, it, this was just a little bit too thick or something. I might have cut my strips a little too thick. But it's kind of cool. If you think about all the scraps that you've got laying around, you could really go to town and make a lot of different things. Now, when I finished my flowers, I actually did mine out of raffia. This is what I did with mine. Here we go. Those are my lovely granddaughters, three of them. But here are my flowers. This one was actually done with that square frame believe it or not. This one here, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and then I cut the edges of it to give it a little more um, textured edge there. And then I just kind of hand whip these little doodads out. So that just shows you all the things that you can do with your henna ami. I never say that right. Henna ami. It's because I'm not Japanese probably. Anyway, it's a flower loom and that's all the things that you can do with it. So make sure to stop by CropStop.com and get yourself a flower loom. Have a great day. Bye.